Hey guys, welcome to Divorce the Horse. This is Keith, and today we're going to discuss my Chinese diesel heater. The best investment I ever made for heating my bus. Here, guys, here's the heater. We're putting the exhaust the lines on for now. Uh, later we'll put the um, muffler on when it's under the bus. Um, so, yeah, just pretty much the most assembly here is the end of the power cords and putting the uh, ventilation system in which will go under the bus, and uh, we don't have to worry about Mr. Carbon Monoxide sneaking up here. Here with JW Solar USA, and the reason why JW Solar USA is helping me out here today is because the battery system, which this will be running off of, is going to be, you guessed it, solar powered. Yeah. We're putting the air filter on the intake. It's very, very easy. As you see, it just bolts right down there like that. And the same goes for the way the exhaust system is put together. Um, although the muffler end may need a little bit of crimping or something because it's uh, pretty hard to tighten it on there and get it to stay on. Don't want to lose that going down the highway. So pretty much what we're going to do here after this is uh, in place is we're going to go ahead and, fix and uh, flip her upside down and feel her up and uh, put connectors on the end of the... Uh, Positive and negative for the battery, and we are good to go. Let's we'll sign that one through there. And that's what it should look like. Yep. So this is the air intake. No, I'll put. Output, excuse me, and uh, that's where this hose is going. Um, when I install it in my bus, I'm actually not going to put that on there because mine's going to sit out in the open. But what this is designed for. So if you have like cupboards or benches that you build over the top of this after you bolt it to the floor, then you can connect that piece right there to a vent hose or a, a ventilation outlet, and uh, then you never see the device. So that's the air in take and the exhaust output so also an air straight. intake there yep they, these are going to go straight through your floor and out underneath your bus that's how you prevent carbon monoxide poisoning with this heater okay guys so uh what i have this is just a temporary hookup just so you know temporary just using a regular car battery for now for the juice to run the test and fire the heater up for the first time um if you're going to have this and you're going to have this battery inside your place, um, you're going to want to at least use an AGM, uh, AGM battery, not a flooded lead acid battery because uh, regular car batteries vent fumes and fumes are not good in tiny places. So this is just a temporary setup here and uh, I'm going to show you here. See how easy that guys, that was guys? I mean. For a diesel heater, it's supposed to run almost 24 hours on a gallon of diesel fuel. Set up literally just to test the machine, 10, 15 minutes tops. I have no idea either about this mm -hmm. and how this thing works. And look at the baby remote control into that thing. That's my heater. That's the intake. It's very hot. Almost 200 degrees, guys, coming out of there. And that's how loud it is. You can hear. If you can sleep with that, this is the heater for you. Well, that concludes another episode of Divorce the Horse, Getting Off the Grid. Uh, as you can see, the endeavor is coming along. And uh, I hope you guys are having extra good luck with your projects as well. Um, I say I do miss the Betty, but it's also very nice to be able to walk around and stand up in my house. So I'm enjoying the bus very much so. And in the spring, I get a toilet and a shower. Yeah. All right. Until next time, keep up the good fight. Uh, work on your projects. You can do it. Love you guys.